What's up guys, this is Dipesh and I am back with another video and in this video I will show you how to get Google Assistant on your Windows, Mac or Linux machine. So to do that you have to follow some steps. That's gonna be really really hard but believe me you can do it. So first of all you have to go to this link from the link in the description of the video and then you have to download a Python. To download Python you have to click here. Make sure that your Python version is more than 3.0. If you are using Linux or Mac, you will download for your own. But in my case, I have downloaded Python for Windows. Once you download, you have to install it on your computer. I have already installed it on my computer, so I am not going to install it again. Now, next step is you have to go to second link. Now, in your case, it might be different. In your case, it may be asked for login or sign up. Once you done with that, you have to click on create project. Now you have to give a project name. You can give it anything you want. But in my case, I like to give a name my Google Assistant. Once you give a name, you have to click on create. Now, make sure that you are working on uh, your new project directory. Then you have to go to our website link again. Then you have to click on your third link and then you have to make sure that you are working on your latest created project. And then you have to click on enable option here. Once it's enabled, you will get option to create a credential. Then you have to click on create credential. You will be redirected on this page. Here you have to select all of these options as same as mine. First of all, you have to select Google Assistant API. Then you have to select Windows uh, UI Windows uh, CLI tool. Then you have to select User Data. Then you have to click on What credential do I need? Now here you have to create a client ID. You can type here anything you want, but in my case, I am just typing my name. Then you have to click on create client ID. Then you have to click uh, on this text box and type your product name. But here you can also type anything. In my case, I am just giving my name and click on continue. Once it's done, you can download it. You can download this file now, but uh, in my case, I'm gonna download it later. So just click on done. Then go back to our website and then you have to click on this link this is the activity control page of your google account here you have to enable all this activity make sure that you have enabled bevan activity and you must have voice and audio activity once it's done Go to our website again and you have to copy this command. And open command form. And paste it. And hit enter button. This will execute a lines of command on your command form. Uh, here you can see that I have already installed but in your case it might be a little bit different then you have to download this file open it and better to copy it on any separate folder here you can see that I have copied on my this location now here you have to go to again our website and copy the second command and paste it on command prompt Here your command get pasted and don't make any changes on this yellow line and the green line say that the path of your file where you have downloaded. If you don't know what is path then go to download location of your file and just copy its path and paste it on command form. And you have to also change the download file name. You have to go to your file location again 
and just copy the file name and paste it on command form. Here you can see that we have to change our path and our file name. And then if you hit enter button, then you may get error. This is because of, uh, unfortunately I put a space between here. You have to just remove it and hit enter again. Once it's done, it will ask for authorization code. Here you have copied this link which you are getting from here. Just copy this link and paste it on your browser. Now it will ask for choose account, just sign up or choose your account, allow permission and then you will get a code which you have to paste on your command form. Just copy it and open command form again and paste authorization code and hit enter. It will save your credential. Once it's done, you have to go to our website again. And here you have to copy command number three. It will help to check whether your audio is recording or not and paste it on your command form and say anything. If it's successful then you have to go to our website again. Now you have to copy this command number 4. This is a command which we are going to use whenever we want to run Google Assistant. Whenever you want to run Google Assistant, you have to paste this command on your command form. Just paste it and hit enter button. Once it runs, it will ask for enter your command. I mean to say enter your voice or anything. Just press enter button and say anything. There are lots of things I can help you with. For example, you can say, show my photos of bridges on my TV. Or it will automatically reply you to your to voice when whatever you ask to Google Assistant. You're welcome. It is not a GUI version, but it still works fine with command form. Hope in future we will get a Google Assistant GUI version for Windows or any computer. So till now we have to use google assistant on command form so here you can see that you have to paste this command whenever you want to run google assistant it will work fine check out our other videos and hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe i will meet you soon in my next video